Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got a weird thing going on with my hair. <laughs> Not edited. <laughs> so we have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. These are things I actually picked up Thursday? Thursday, yeah. So my videos, I'm sorry I'm posting them a little bit after, so you probably last night watched my Wednesday uh, Walmart grocery haul. It's just finding the time, a quiet time, <laughs> to film these videos and uh, fellow vloggers, you know what problems that can pose, <laughs> especially if you have a family. It's just Jim and I at home. So the only thing I have to deal with is the dog. She's outside in the backyard for a little bit. Anyway, let's get started. I'm just going to show you the things like repeat purchases, but they are my favorites. Um, this is the 10 count. I took one out already, but Leftovers for Jim. He doesn't have to worry about losing containers. They do have um, the dividers, so you can have a section for like your meat and then a section for vegetables or whatever. Um, but yeah, this, this styrofoam, yeah, they're not so great for the environment, but they are convenient and I like using those um, to send off leftovers and then he doesn't have to worry about bringing anything home. Ooh, the next item. Um, we had a couple of snacks. We've already finished those, like some licorice and some like Mike and Ike's. But um, I got these again. And my favorites are the ones with the cranberries and the golden raisins. Um, that might be just air in there, but I feel like they're not filling these up like they used to. Um, but these are great. They have different, like three or four different kinds of uh, mixes. Um, most of them, they all have almonds in it, which I like, but I prefer just like the cashews or peanuts. This is great. Just snack on or to put over your yogurt. So definitely want to do that. So let's do, here's some new items. So I have a, for my scrapbooking junk journaling, I have a set of the stamp pads where you, it's called Distressed Ink, where you distress stickers or papers, whatever it may be for your junk journal. And um, I have a little, the stamp thing, I put it in plastic, but the container that holds those four different, four or five different uh, ink pads keeps falling out. So I wanted to get something to put that in. I think they'll all fit in there. This is in the back to school section. It's actually like, um, a sandwich holder. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, my hair's. So this is really great. Um, I, you know, I should have picked up another one just for sandwiches for lunches and so forth. Because um, you can reuse these, right? You can just wash them up and they'll be ready for the next day. Um, Jim doesn't always take a sandwich every day, you know, so. so I thought this was a great deal to put, um, put those little stamp pads in so uh, moving on this I thought I'm gonna put it right here it's this night light it's uh, automatic LED um, it's a plug-in light and if it works well I'll maybe get one or two more we do have um, under it's on a timer under the cabinet lighting but it shuts off comes on around 9 9 30 and then it shuts off around 5 30 but if i have to get the middle of the night for the dog i like to have like down the hallway we have one but um in this area here it gets pretty dark so i'm going to pop this open now like i said if i get if i see any more i mean if it works well i should say i'll get some more and um i don't know if this is the pool bench section it doesn't give a brand name. Um, so these are just chipped by Greenbrier. Um, these, this one, but yeah, I thought this would be great um, to plug in there. So it's not because we don't have any light right now. Let's see. Is it, there's no. So he's, there's a little tab, but um, yeah. So I'll I'll let you know how that works. I'm gonna plug it in now. And we'll see what comes on tonight. Now, into the fall things. Um, I picked up some more stickers. 
this isn't necessarily, um, I, I, I would look through my stash and I don't think I have the dog one, but I thought this one kind of looks a little bit like Pekka's. But I love these. I have gotten these with the koalas and the one with, this one always cracks me up with blowing a bubble. But I thought those stickers were <clears throat> cute. They're like the 3D, 3D stickers. Now for fall, I really love these and I'm like, I'm going to get two because I know I'll use them up either in card making or in my journal, my planner. Um, so some of these are a little bit the raised up. You see that? So this one, yeah, that one is too. Not as much as these right here, but aren't those cute? The pumpkin that was in the, um, the fall section. And I don't need any more decor pumpkins, but I have an idea what I want to do with these. And there was, I think there was four or five different colors, but I just picked up these. I didn't care for the green. I don't really, I want to put this like in a basket or um, a decor piece here in the kitchen. My kitchen's blue and white with gray. Um, if they had a gray, I would have gotten the gray ones, but these are the uh, fabric, or sorry, burlap pumpkins. And I think they're really well done. The stem is like a brown color. So this is kind of like an off-white and then this is more of the, the taupe color or beige. Um, but they had green. They had, I think they had like a burgundy or rust and like, like a orange, not a bright orange, but like a pale orange. So yeah, I really like those. And the last item, I had those uh, metal corn stalks. If you've seen, they have them back. So check out your Dollar Tree if you need any metal stakes. If you use that in your garden area or in a planter, even a pot. Um, you can deconstruct these too if you are making, say, a wreath. Um, you just get some um, metal uh, snippers on there and I think it'll come off pretty, pretty well right here. Um, but I'm going to use these in our planter out front. So they had um, more of a yellowish one, but it had like these like sparkly things on it. I didn't care for that. Um, I like this one. I think that would be a nice little pop of color. Uh, right now, Jim's got um, the flamingo. <laughs> you get a flamingo out there. Um, he also got, oh, well, I had had previously, it's kind of like a summer decor piece, a frog. Um, so that's sitting out there. I want to say, did I have, I used to have a butterfly too. Um, but yeah, that's the metal piece. And then I'll have to show you, give you a little garden tour soon so that we have the front and the back. The back, I really like that it's on the side. It's like a lizard crawling on the brick wall. He put that right outside our, our patio door, sliding door here. It's really cute. So that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Um, we'll hopefully tomorrow, I will be posting some videos. Uh, my daughter's coming in with her friend just for a day visit uh, from Ohio and they wanna go thrift shopping and go to some um, antique stores. And so I'm gonna, I'm waiting for them. They'll probably be here hopefully in the next hour, hour and a half so we can get some time. And I told her like, you should stay the night. Oh no, no. I was like, now she's getting here late and she's not gonna have enough time. I mean, driving three and a half hours, it's like, yeah, I would stay the night. I wouldn't go. So I'm gonna try and talk her into it, but they probably didn't bring a toothbrush. I'll go get a toothbrush for a toothpaste or whatever. That's all they need really. Um, so that's it. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Hopefully you're not having any, a lot of storms going through. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.